This is Twit. So if you've been following along with the Halo Infinite drama, you know that two years ago this game was about to come out, but then Microsoft delayed it for a year and it desperately needed that extra year. But then when it arrived a year ago, it was also woefully incomplete. Microsoft said, no worries. We'll update it over time. We got this. We're going to do this and that and the other thing. They kept delaying. They delayed the new seasons. They delayed new features. Back in, I think it was August, they announced that split-screen co-op was not coming. It's turned into kind of a debacle. And I've never really written or talked about this, but there have been calls for Microsoft to take Halo away from 343 Industries um, and maybe give it to another game studio that maybe these guys are just not um, have not done a good job with it. Although what I, I should say 343 has done a tremendous job with the Master Chief Collection. So and the Halo television series also happened on their watch. This was something that was supposed to happen a decade ago. It finally did happen. I think they did a pretty good job with it. I, you know, I'm not really sure. But in the middle of all this drama. Uh, Bonnie Ross, who's the head of 343 Studios uh, Industries and the person mo most directly responsible for Halo Infinite, announced abruptly on Twitter that she was leaving the company. And she said that it was because of a family medical issue, which, mm -hmm. you know, we hopefully is not. I mean, it sounds serious, unfortunately, and we don't know if it's her or someone else and, and what it is. We don't know. But the timing could not be worse um, in the midst of people calling for someone's head. Um, she has stepped up to the plate and said, I'm leaving. And um, Yeah, but you don't make you know, up the family medical emergency. I mean, that would yeah, be... Yeah, usually, right. It, right. it wasn't to spend more time with my family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, but but it's still... It, oh, boy, it's just a, it's, it's a tough one. So there's no way to really know. I mean, I hope... Um, I hope whatever is going on in her family is something that can be solved and uh, mm. is has a good outcome. I don't, but, you know, I don't know. But what today, think. today I saw mm -hmm. on some sites, I can't remember where, because I don't pay that much attention to Xbox. Sorry. Um, <laughs> That's okay. Somebody else at 343, like a direct, director of engineering is leaving now. Um, Ew, so weird. This, and he cited, he said, my grandmother yeah. died. And they're like, Bob, no, you this have look, It looks four bad. Grandmothers? It's like, okay, yeah. is everybody jumping ship because some big thing is right. about to happen? Like, what's going on, right? <laughs> I, I I think anything is on the table for 343 and Halo right now. I, I, I This is creeping into disaster territory. Now, uh, video. I, we, I must have said this on a previous podcast. It just sounds familiar. But I feel like video games have become a bit like movies. Nope, that's actually the opposite of what I meant to say. Video games are a little different from movies because movies today don't last for a long time in the theater. They have kind of a big blowout at the beginning and then they disappear. But video games, good video games, like Halo Infinite uh, potentially could, could be in the market for a long time and they get updates over time. Microsoft's done a good job of that with other games, you know, Gears of War, um, Sea of Thieves and so on. Flight Simulator actually is an excellent example. Mm -hmm. Minecraft, I could go on. Anyway, the point is, this could have long lasting power, but there's also that thing that could happen where if it's a disaster out of the gate, like Xbox One, you never really recover from that. And you don't want to do that with your marquee title. This is literally the most important game franchise that Xbox has. It's not even close. And that that might weigh heavily on the decision makers of Microsoft. So we'll see. Anyway, I hope Bonnie Ross's family is okay. I don't know anything about yeah, that. And one of the commenters on your blog <coughs> said, uh, gave her credit for keeping yeah. Halo continuing after Bungie uh, took off. Microsoft didn't really have any plans for Halo, but she convinced yeah. them to keep working on it. I Also, the, the, the Master Chief Collection is the type of thing where you kind of really, if, if it's feature complete and all that, you release it and you're done with it. You don't really think about it too much more. But they updated that a lot over time and they added new features. They added higher, you know, high res options and so forth. Um, and they've kept that kind of fresh. And so if you're a Halo fan, I think overall you can't feel too, too bad about it. But Halo Infinite is tough. I mean, it's, uh, you know, Halo is not like Call of Duty. They didn't come up with one of these every year, right? So it's it's a big deal when you release a Halo. I, this one did not go as well as it should have, especially given just the kind of the general quality of the game. It's like the kind of like, you know, remember they, uh, they did the Star Wars prequels, the first one, The Force Awakens was kind of a nice return to form the other two or whatever. But the first one, it was like, oh, that's cool. Look, Star Wars is back, you know. And uh, it should have been like that, you know. And it, it was in some ways, but I, I, I don't think they landed it 